Counterfeit products might be the most controversial topic among the luxury circles. I mean, how can they not be? After all, the entire appeal of luxury purchases is the fact that they are unique and special and can be attained by only a small group of people. Once these products become available and accessible to everyone, then we start to get uncomfortable. However, regardless of how the luxury shopping community feels, once the fake products are out, there is no way of stopping them. Especially today when fake products are almost as good as the originals, if not even better. It is difficult to see why would anyone want to pay thousands for a handbag just because it is an original. This leads me to question, what is original, what is fake, and who is to determine whether an item is one or the other? But since this would be a highly philosophical debate for this particular channel, instead I'll move on to my next question. Why fake handbags are regarded as better than the originals in today's day and age? First, we have to talk about the elephant in the room, aka the cost savings. Once you pay a lower cost for a product that has no visible difference from the highly expensive original, you automatically feel like you got your desired look without making a fool out of yourself. Some people buy fake products to project a certain image or social status. They may want to be seen as owning expensive brands even if they can't afford the authentic version. Thus, fake products blur the lines between the fake social classes, making buying fake products very appealing to the masses. Personally, I believe this is one of the best things about fake products as they allow everyone to achieve the looks they want to have regardless of their socioeconomic class in society. Think about teenagers or youth who do not own much but still want to fit in with their peers. How else can attain that look unless they buy fake products? Social pressure or the desire to fit in with peers who own designer items can lead individuals to purchase fake products to maintain appearances, and I cannot blame any one of them for seeking such a look in such a vulnerable situation. Also, with the rise of social media, one seasonal trends are now shifting weekly and even daily at times. And let's be honest, very few people have the means to keep up with every single trend. But not having the means to do so does not remove the inner desire to still fit in with the freshest trends. And at that point, fake products become very much handy as they allow many to taste the trends without splurging and see if any trend fits their personal style or not. I also feel obliged to mention the unavailability of some luxury products that are unreasonably difficult to purchase even if you have the money. Of course, the number one brand that comes to mind is none other than Hermes, a brand that is notoriously strict in determining who gets to own one of their bags. Even though I get that the brand is doing this for a reason, I also get the people who refuse to comply with all these terms and conditions that Hermes presents and instead go directly towards the fake versions of those highly desired bags. Apart from hard to get brands like Hermes, there are also brands that are simply not accessible in certain areas of the world. I mean, if you don't live in a big city, it is not very easy to reach luxury products, while fakes are pretty accessible in almost everywhere in the world. So if you like a handbag model, instead of hoping to attain the genuine one day, it is easier to get the fake version and suppress that inner urge. Now, all these are very valid reasons in my opinion to buy fake handbags. However, personally, I can never make the cut simply because I know the possible consequences of buying a fake product. Buying fake products has serious ethical and legal implications that many people would not want to be leveled with. However, there is also the fact that most people do not have the necessary knowledge on the issue. And I cannot blame those people for not having all the necessary information regarding the fake products and their implications. After all, not everyone has the means or the privilege to be informed on every single topic, let alone build an awareness of the issue. Do you think I'm a bit too sympathetic towards fake product purchases? Or do you also understand where the people who buy fake products are coming from? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.